Hi, how can I help you? You'd like to book a trip? Wonderful, well I can help you right now Sure, please have a seat And do you have any ideas where you might want to go? You're thinking California? Very nice Well, I specialize travel within the United States So I can definitely help you with California Do you just have about a half hour to go over some details and then if we do come up with a plan, we could even book it right here. Perfect. So let me just start off with some basic information. Okay, what is your full legal name? Okay. And your home address? phone number okay and then your email address perfect and will you be traveling alone or with somebody else with a friend okay and what is their name And then also their phone number. Perfect. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of get exact details of what kind of trip you're looking to book. And then I can give you some advice and go from there. So is there a specific city you're interested in visiting? Okay, Los Angeles. And have you ever been there? Never been there. And the purpose of the trip is just for fun? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. I have actually lived there before, so I can give you some good advice and tips on some fun places you can visit. And what is your budget? Perfect. All right. And is there any certain time of the year that you'd like to go? So this year. And what about the month? November. Okay, that's plenty of time. I was actually going to suggest that usually the best time to visit Los Angeles would be between March and May and then September to November, so good choice. Alright, and then in regards to your flights, so I think the best would be obviously to fly into LAX. And do you have a preference of your airline? Okay. And what about the departure time? Do you prefer morning, afternoons, evenings, early morning? Okay. And then do you prefer it to be a direct flight or would you not mind if it was connecting flights? Usually they're a little bit less expensive. You do want direct. Right, and then rental car. I'm assuming you probably want to rent one. Okay. And any preference on the rental company? You don't mind? Okay. Perfect. That will give us some more options so that we can get you a good rate. And then what kind of hotel? There's so many different types of hotels in Los Angeles, so are you thinking more one toward the water, uh, more in the city, small boutique hotel, very large resort? 
resort near the water. Okay. Perfect. Definitely plenty of those, so I can give you some recommendations. Alright, so let me first just go over your flight and we can look at some dates. Does that sound good? Okay. Okay, so I know you said November. So, flying into LAX, leaving from here. It looks like the best date would be maybe early November. So, how many nights do you think you want to stay? Four or five? Well, due to the long distance, I would definitely suggest five, if possible. Let's see what we can get you. Alright, so I'm seeing a pretty good price here. Uh, November 4th to November 9th. So that gives you five nights. And let's see the time. So, there's an 8 a.m. flight, which would get you there at 12 p.m., so that's not too bad. And then back home, let's see what the returning flights are. We have a 10 a.m., and that would get you home at 2 p.m. Does that sound good? And then what about those dates? Okay, so we will save that as a possibility, and then now we can move on to the hotels. I know you said you're looking for more of a resort near the water, and I do have a good recommendation for you. It is beautiful, right on the water, and I think it's exactly what you're looking for. It has views of the Pacific Ocean. Who doesn't want that? and it is a five-star hotel. It is a little bit more on the expensive side per night, but there is a deal going on where you can save $50 a night if you book at least five nights. So, since you're booking five nights, I thought you might be interested in that. And I can show you a picture of the resort. Alright, so this is the view that you would have from the hotel, and you can't see, but the hotel is right up here in the corner. So what do you think? Definitely? Very good. Well then, let's look at the options. Alright. And I didn't mention this, but it is a 30 minute drive from the airport, but that's not too bad. And it's a convenient location going to all the other things that you'll probably be seeing in the area. Alright, so let's just take a look. I know that you have three room options for this hotel, so let me show you. The first one, right here is the garden suite, and so that has a private balcony and views of the garden, and that's $200 a night. So that's that one. And then the next one is the ocean suite. That's a little bit larger than the garden suite, and it actually has a separate living room area, and so that will run you $300 a night. And then you have the Ocean Bungalow, which is even larger than the Ocean Suite. And that has a kitchen area, living room, and an outside little mini pool area just for you. And that's way more expensive, so that is $500 a night. So, three options, all good. And to be honest, no matter what you choose, beautiful, so what do you think? The garden? Good choice. 
Alright. So garden sweet. And five nights. Let me give you some more information about the resort. So there's a full spa, and of course, you can get anything you would want and more at the spa. There are massages, facials, you can get your nails done, you can get your hair done, everything you can imagine. And then there's also an indoor fitness center, and that has everything you can imagine as well, so weights, cardio equipment, I believe they just installed a cycling studio and it actually overlooks the water so I would suggest checking that out and then there is also a walking trail and the walking trail goes around the entire resort and of course the views are beautiful you can actually see a picture here of the walking trail view so you can see the water and it's very lush and it's just beautiful so I would definitely try that out as well and then there are also four pools so uh, two of the pools are more kid-friendly with slides and families and then the other two pools are actually adult only so if you're looking for more of a peaceful, quiet experience, um, you might want to go there, but the slides are also fun, so maybe check them both out. And then let me just check the dining options to see if anything has changed. Okay, so there are two upscale dining options, and then two more uh, casual dining options, so those would be good for breakfast and lunch. And then there are also uh, grills and bars at all of the pools as well, so plenty to eat while you're actually at the resort. But I know you will probably be interested in activities while you're in Los Angeles as well. So would you like me to give you some tips? Perfect. While you are in Los Angeles, like I said, there's so much to do. You could travel so many different places, but there's a lot of traffic. That's the first thing. And you do have limited time. So I'll give you a few suggestions and you can go from there. The first thing I would say is do your research on restaurants. There are so many different places to eat from good fast food to upscale dining to casual places so many options so i would watch maybe some youtube videos and do some other research online to see what might interest you and then some destinations let me see you could visit the hollywood walk of fame i will say it's very touristy but you are a tourist and it's your first time going so that might be of interest to you it's a lot of walking around, and of course, you can see all the stars on the ground. And then, let me see what else. If you like museums, I would recommend uh, LACMA. And I can actually show you a photo. So you may be familiar with this. There's a famous art installation at the LACMA. And that's Los Angeles County Museum of Art. And um, so here it is. And it's a really cool place to take a picture. It's really cool to go at night too, because obviously all of the street lamps are lit up. And that's right outside of the museum, so I would suggest that potentially. If you're interested in movies and television shows, I would suggest maybe doing a studio tour. Uh, one that's very popular is the Warner Brothers store. And let me just see, make sure there are going to be tours when you are there. Yes, okay. It looks like there's one every day that you're there. 
Now it will be a little bit of a further drive for you to get there, but again, if that's something that's very interesting to you, you won't want to miss out. And then you could also go to the Griffith Observatory, and let me show you a picture of that. So that is really, really neat because you get a whole view of Los Angeles, and it's just another good thing to do. For your first time in Los Angeles, so those are a few suggestions for around the city. Are you interested in getting out a little bit further since you have a car? You are. Alright, so let me bring up, I have a recommendation sheet here. I don't want to forget it. So first I would recommend the Santa Monica Pier, and that's your normal beach type pier with a lot of games and some rides, a ferris wheel, but it's just a very classic Los Angeles place to visit. And then, let's see what else. So one of my favorite spots is Manhattan Beach. There's a beautiful path that you can walk along, and the views are amazing. A lot of good breakfast places too, and lunch. Um, and boutiques too, if you're interested in any shopping. Um, what else here? So, and I wanted to mention too, I'm typing this up for you, so you don't forget any of these recommendations. Uh, next, I would say Venice Beach, um, just to swing by. It's got a very, very California uh, vibe to it, so you'll see a lot of skateboarding. Um, you'll see a lot of really cool things that you probably wouldn't see at any other beach in Los Angeles, so you could stop by there. And then there's actually a street right by there called Abbott Kinney, and I'm going to write that down. And Abbott Kinney has a lot of really good spots, again, to eat, so check out the restaurants there. And do you drink coffee? You do? Alright, there's a lot of good coffee shops there, too. And then you could get out a little bit further too. Um, driving out to Malibu is a beautiful drive. Again, very, very scenic. And there are some good food places you can stop along the way. And then if you would want more of a scenic drive, you could always drive down the coast. Um, you could stop in Orange County. You could keep going, 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 and then stop at one of my favorite beaches. Laguna Beach. Very, very beautiful. Um, without traffic, should take a little more than an hour from your hotel, but again, it can always vary in Los Angeles, so if you wanted to do that, I would leave early in the morning. But very good food. I mean, it's just beautiful. And then if you kept going even further, you would eventually hit San Diego, so all depends on exactly what you're looking to do. But overall, my top tips would be definitely map out your days, uh, make reservations or any restaurants you want to visit, and just have fun. There's so much to do, so much to see, and it will go by very quickly, so just enjoy it. So how does that all sound overall? Good, well I'm so happy I was helpful. So if you want, we can actually book this for you and go over some final details. Perfect. Well, let me just get that paperwork for you. Alright, so... I will be... giving you your invoice with the final amount due. Um, and then just so you know, I'll be sending you an email with your airplane tickets, 
all that information as well as the hotel details. And then one week before the trip, you'll just get a reminder email from me with all of the details again. Alright, so your invoice. So your total for the trip. And this is for the flights the hotel and your rental car. It is coming out to $4,500. And so the deposit today would be $1,000. So how would you like to pay? Credit card? Alright, well let me first give you this invoice that I drew up. Alright, yeah, so it shows you here your total, $4,500, your deposit is $1,000, and then I just put a reminder down here that the $3,500 that's left to pay is due 60 days before the trip. So I'm just going to need you to sign right down here for me. So here you go. And here's a pen. Perfect. Thank you very much. And then I can process your payment. So you're paying with card, I'm assuming? Yes. Okay, thank you. receipt will be emailed to you right now as well. And then I actually will print out a paper receipt. And then we'll have a little bit more detailed information that I will go over with you right now. Okay. So let me get that. Let's see. Invoice that you signed. So here is the receipt. Alright, so some important information. Just a reminder that you did pay $1,000 today. And then like I said, the $3,500 will be due 60 days before your trip. Um, cancellations, so deposits are non-refundable. But if you would need to cancel the trip um, anytime before you leave, you would not have to pay the rest of the money. Um, the remaining balance, I already said that. Um, and then emergencies, I just have the emergency telephone number for you right there. And just a reminder too, so you have basic travel insurance. So that means you have uh, medical protection. You also have lost baggage protection. Um, and then also, if your flight has delays, we can help you with that. And then rental car protection as well. Okay. And then just a reminder, you're on the 8 a.m. flight to LAX, Terminal A. And then a 10 a.m. flight home. And then your hotel, the Beachside Inn. Check-ins at 1 o'clock and check-outs at 11 a.m. Alright. And again, this is emailed to you as well, so you have both of these documents. There you go. And that's very nice that you're paying for the trip for you and your friend, so it will be a lot of fun. Okay, I think that is all I need. Is there any other question you have or anything else you need from me? Okay, good. So you have your invoice, your receipt, everything emailed to you. Um, like I said, I'll be sending some reminders leading up to the trip. And other than that, you are all set. Well, thank you so much for coming in and booking your trip with us. 
I think you're going to have a lot of fun and I'm excited for you. So take care and let me know if you need anything in the next few months. Have a great day.